Larry Elder has been in California media forever, telling the truth in a really smart and sometimes hilarious way. He just ran for governor of California in a recall election against Gavin Newsom. It came up short after the state's media <laughs> united to call him a white supremacist. Still makes us laugh. It's pretty offensive, actually. But he's not deterred. He has a major announcement for us tonight. Our friend Larry Elder joins us now. Larry, thanks so much for coming on. So, I'm so, and I'm sorry to laugh at that. I'm sure it's hard <laughs> for you to laugh at, but it's just it's so insane. Um, so what are you up to next? But Tucker, you almost have to laugh at it. It's so ridiculous. And actually, the, yeah. the actual quote was, Larry Elder is the black face of white supremacy, Tucker. And the subheadline was, you've been warned. By the way, one other <laughs> LA Times columnist referred to my views as white supremacist. Why? Because I'm pro-life, because I don't buy the notion that America is systemically racist, because I want to cure borders, because I want us to be energy uh, in independent instead of energy dependent, uh, because yes. I know that our urban schools are a disaster. Uh, so for all those reasons, I was called the black face of white supremacy and a white supremacist in terms of my views. My announcement, Tucker, is that I'm announcing that I'm running for the presidency of the United States on your program. And thank you wow. so much for giving me this honor and this platform. Of course. Uh, my website is elderforpresident.com, elderforpresident.com. And Tucker, the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, my father was a World War II vet. He served in, in, on, on the island of Guam. He was a Marine first black Marines, they were called Monfort Point Marines. My older brother, my late older brother, Kirk, was in the Navy during the Vietnam era, and my little brother, Dennis, actually served in Vietnam in the Army. I'm the only one who didn't serve, and I don't feel good about that. Uh, I feel I have a moral, a religious, and a patriotic duty to give back to a country that's been so good to my family and to me, and that is why I'm doing this, Tucker. Well, it's a, that's amazing. Congratulations. It's a big decision to make. Thank I, you. I, I'm very familiar with your views. I think I agree with all of them, pretty much. But if you were to narrow it down, just pick one or two, the issues that are animating you, that are making you feel like you've got to put everything on hold and do this, what are they? Well, aside from the obvious things about the borders I mentioned before, the crime, the, the yeah. uh, maligning of the police, there are a couple of things that I think our side does not spend enough time talking about. And that is the lie, the absolute disgraceful lie that the Democrats put on everything, which is that America is systemically racist. It isn't just a lie, Tucker. It's having real consequences. The police are pulling back. It's called the Ferguson effect or the George yes. Floyd effect. And the people who are, who are harmed by that are the very black and brown people that people on the left claim they care about. There's been a study that shows hundreds, if not thousands, of people are now dead because the police are not engaging in proactive policing because they've been demoralized by people calling them racist. The second thing, Tucker, is the 10,000-pound elephant in the room regarding all of this stuff we see uh, in Chicago and some of these other cities with these mass mobs is the lack of fathers in the home. Right Amen. now, today in America, 40% of all kids enter the world without a father in the home married to the mother, 70% in the black community, 50% of Hispanics, 25% of whites. Now, that's the same percentage as was the case of blacks back in 1965. The question we should be asking ourselves is, how do we go from having 25% of black kids entering the world in 1965 without a father in the home uh, married to the mother to 70% today? And the answer is the welfare state. We've incentivized women to marry the government. We've incentivized men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. And if I do nothing else in this race but focus people on those two issues, I would have, I would have performed a service to my country. Did you, I know that my father had, had the pivotal effect on my life. Was that true for you? Did your dad have an effect on the man you became? Absolutely. And my father never knew his biological father, uh, so it's not a death sentence. But my father uh, believed in hard work. Uh, he ended up working, uh, when he got out of the military, two full-time jobs cleaning toilets, Tucker. Started a little cafe when he was around 47 years old, ran it until his 80s. And when my dad died, he owned the property where the restaurant was, a little piece of property next door to it, plus a house from South Central that we still have in our own family. So the man had died with a net worth of a little bit under a million dollars. Not too bad for a kid from Athens, Georgia, Jim Crow South, whose mom threw him out of the house at the age of 13. That's what you can do in America. My dad, by the way, was a lifelong Republican. He said this about Democrats. Democrats want to give you something for nothing. When you try to get something for nothing, you almost always end up getting nothing for something. And my mom was a lifelong, uh, I, if I said Democrat, I meant Republican. My mom was a lifelong Democrat. And Tucker, they would have arguments over the kitchen table, uh, but nobody called anybody a fascist. Nobody said you only care about the rich. Nobody said you only care about the poor. They were able yeah. to debate these things civilly, and we ought to be able to do that in this country. Amen. That's, well, that's, an that's a really inspiring message. Larry Elder, congratulations on this decision. I'm glad you made the announcement here, and we'll see you again. Thanks. I appreciate it. Elderforpresident.com.
Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.